Hey guys, Jacko59367 here with my new and very old nine year old set. In fact, I think from back in the pilot season of Ninjago 2011. Now, I got this set because I really love the minifigure Semakai just there, and I just love the overall look of this fortress. So, the minifigures you get in this set are Chobov, Nia, Semakai, Kai, Bonesai, and Garmadon, which is pretty plain, I guess. The back of the box isn't really anything significant. You get three of the golden weapons, you get this cool spider, and you have a lot of play features here. So, let's get into the set. So here we have Garmadon's Dark Fortress. And first thing I really want to talk about is Semakai. You know, for the first four-armed minifigure, he's really good. I love that big spine that goes down his back. So while we're on the topic, let's just look at the minifigures first. So first up we have Semakai. Semakai has four arms. Just get a stand. Okay, so Semakai has four arms. He's got this cool Skullkin insignia on his chest. He comes with the three golden weapons of Spinjitsu, the Scythe of Quakes, the Shuriken device, they come with two of these, and the Nunchucks of Lightning. And there's the other one. So here's what Semakai looks with just his four arms. His mouth can open and close, which I really like. His arms, if you want, you just turn them around and put them another way, just like so. And you can make it look like he's, I don't know, ready for battle and planning out a situation or something. I don't know, but that's semi -play. Oh, and I forgot to mention, with this minifigure, in the show, he doesn't really come with a black vest, instead it's brown, and his big spine is meant to be covered up by a big brown vest too. And he does come with oh, two parts, so you get this part, and his head does come off as one part. And he has the normal Skulkin body. I don't know, but he's a pretty decent minifigure to get. Next we have Kai. Kai is very different from obviously the hunted or the, I don't know, bikey season of Ninjago. He's got the classic front printing and not, sadly no back printing, but you can clip in his sword right here. If you just go like that and his sword can be clipped in either way from that or like that, which is pretty cool. That's his proper, whoops, that's his proper face. Oh, my camera won't focus. Basically it's the same as any other Kai face. No double sided face sadly. You get this cool ninja wrap and it's not really rubbery at all. Which is weird. So there we go. That's Kai. Next up we have Nia. Now Nia looks obviously very different from now with that new hairdo. She comes with a nice front printing and sadly no back printing. But thankfully, she does come with a double-sided face, which I really like. Finally, Lego actually did something. Our next minifigure, is Bones Eye. Bones Eye looks like a dumb Skulkin. He just looks dumb. And he's got this nice bone axe. He's got a nice spine, kind of like Samakai, but just really short. Basically what you'd expect from a dead Lego person, but just cool printing. And that's really it. Our next, and I am positive, last minifigure we have is Lord Garmadon. 
Now Lord Garmadon is really cool. He's got like this metallic silver printing in the sunshine, so it like shines. No forearms, but that's the pilot season. He does have his lightning staff or whatever. He has Senokai's like leader helmet, I don't know. No other face and no back printing either, which is sad. But that's just Lord Garmadon. So, getting into the set. First up, I will show you the grave. So, this is a pretty cool grave, but I hate that they used a red piece, which is just annoying. It's nicely detailed. You might see a minifigure's head in there, but that's nothing too serious. So what you do with this is that you hold your hands at the side, and then you just, oh, didn't work that time. Sometimes it doesn't really work, which is bad. It's the only thing I kind of dislike about this set. So if you just put them up, put them back down, slide it back on, that, and he just pops out of the grave, which is really nice. And some nice detailing here too. So now we're on to the big mama, and this is the dark fortress. Oh crap, this is awesome. And I also forgot to mention one last minifigure, because he's basically the same. This is Chopper. He's not really that interesting, just a nice face. Anyway, so this is the big mama. Nice spider here, I'll show you the action for that soon. You got the Garmadon's big chair up here. You have these two spinning turrets where you can pose at enemies and you can just flip them like so and they will shoot pretty far. Turning to the side, you just have staircases so say Senokai can look out at the back, which is getting interesting. You have this spider here which can turn. There's the mechanism for the big spider at the front. And you also, if I can pull this out, you have this nice little ta table with the chalice, a nice like wine glass, I'm not sure, and a weird random frying pan. So that is the kitchen. You have these two crates right here. And these are for the bone axes. You have a prison in here. It's not very spacious, which is good for prisoners just in there. Two exclusive stickers to this set, which is one that looks like kind of a jail cell and the other one which looks like a Kai minifigure saying wanted. Now, without further ado, let's just show you the mechanism. So as you can see right here, there's the spider here. Say if I got... Kai, and Kai's trying to sneak into here. Sorry. See this thing balancing here? You just hold the set and you push it. Sometimes it will miss him, but usually, if I try again, it hits him, which is a nice defense. So this is the overall spider. He's got these cool, nice little sabered teeth. He's got these nice eyes too, and he's got the mean skulking insignia. He does have six legs, which is pretty cool, and the bottom of him is nothing really special. So that's that. I'll just take that off, because that will fall off, probably. Next, you have Garmadon's chair. Nothing really interesting. These can move. All this can move. And so can all the legs. But not that far, because they're, like, look like broken legs. I'm not really sure. And that pretty much is it for the set. Besides that, these here can just rotate a little bit. And yeah, that's really it. What I was thinking though is adding a second floor, maybe in a different video, and having like, I don't know, a weaponry station here or maybe a lookout where they can like shoot stuff just out here. And you know, that's really it. So guys, thank you for watching my YouTube video. This has been a very fun YouTube video to basically do. Because one, it has my favorite minifigure of Ninjago of all time. Two, my first Garmadon, besides the breakfast one. 
and three, it just comes with exclusive play features and different coloured fire to now. So guys, thank you for watching my YouTube video. Remember to slap that bell, turn on notifications and like my YouTube video. Please subscribe. I am very lonely. I only have five subscribers. Sad life for me. So thank you for watching my YouTube video. This has been Jacko59367 and Jacko out.